So nowadays there is a lot of people trying to get into web development. Most of the people they even say that if they get a job in web development, this would be their dream job. This would change their life completely. But the reality is, are all those jobs out there really that great? Are all those jobs out there really a dream? This is what we are going to find out in this video. And I'm going to read one email that I got from one of my subscribers. Uh, so this email is from uh, Mani. I'm going to put it in here on the, on the screen so you guys can follow. So Mani is saying that... Um, Hey Talmo, I follow you on Instagram and YouTube. Your videos have always been motivational for me. I got a job about two months with those helps as a junior web developer. I was excited about it at first, but after a while I'm getting really sick of it. <laughs> we are going to get back to this after. So I thought I would send you this message and see what you think as as you are pretty down to earth and you might have been where I am now. I have, I have been there as well, Money. And we are just going to discuss this in a second. So, I can't believe my dream came true, but I don't want it anymore. I still love coding and making, and making websites, but I'm so confused at work that sometimes I spend hours and hours figure, figuring out a small issue. Um, and we only use WordPress for making sites, which is another reason I get stuck in everything because I thought I would be making JavaScript apps when I was learning to code, but now I'm making WordPress sites using a few lines of code and mostly advanced custom fields. After two months, now I just want to leave my job and I'm sick of not of not knowing what I'm doing. Yesterday, one of the senior developers literally asked me to stop asking questions of him because he's so busy. So yeah, it's disappointing and not what I was expecting. Uh, I'm really close to quitting my job. I know I've written too much and I don't have time to answer, but I'd be happy if you could just write something as a senior developer. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you. All right, guys. So, uh, by the way, guys, if you have any questions like these that you you um, you would like me to answer for a video or something like that, send me an email. I or for my website elmsampai.com where I have my courses and everything, and I'm gonna uh, answer. So, money. This was really a great uh, a great email, by the way. And let's get started with this because uh, there is a lot of people thinking that. Uh, when they are going to get a job as a web developer, this will be like their dream job or whatever. But let's get started with this. The reality is most of the jobs out there, they are really, really boring. Okay, Re I'm, when I'm telling you really, really boring is like really, really boring. Just like Manny was saying that uh, because it's always like this. You guys see some kind of advanced uh, uh, tutorials on these, on that, uh, on Code Academy, on uh, Free Code Camp, on YouTube, and you think that when you are getting started as a web developer, that you will get started with all these complicated things. And the reality is, guys, that uh, most likely when you are starting out as a junior developer, you will be given tasks from your managers, from your senior developers, of really, really boring things, boring things. And one of the reasons for that is, first of all, if, for example, like you said, you are struggling, for example, with simple tasks, you take hours and hours to solve it, can you imagine if they are going to give you something much more complicated, much more advanced, you will be completely stuck. So that's why people, when they are starting out, uh, they, they, they will start with some boring tasks like updating some kind of HTML or CSS or like you said, for example, that you are just uh, using WordPress, you are not coding these amazing apps. But this is the reality almost everywhere, okay? There, there are some really nice web developer jobs out there that you will build amazing things, okay? But I would say maybe 70% of the companies, if not more, 
of all the companies, for example, in your city, they will just be building boring stuff, really basic stuff. They are not even following test-driven development. They are not even using Git. So many things because all these companies, they put on their job advertisement, oh, we want people to know these, that, these, and whatever. And then when it goes to the actual job, they are not professional at all. They just want basic stuff. That's why I'm telling you guys all the time that you don't need to know a lot to get your first job. Because unless you're going to be working on a software house, like a house that is actually dedicated to building some kind of applications, okay? Most likely, most of you will go and work for agencies. Like, like Manny was saying, you're going to be working on a company that you will be building websites for other small businesses, medium businesses, things like these, agencies. So, Manny, I know that, for example, you now are very disappointed because you thought you will be building really amazing things. Don't worry, this happens to everyone when they are starting out. Most likely, as you are going to advance through, you're going to get more experience. Uh, your developers will give you tasks more difficult, more worthy for you. But right now, as you could see, um, you are struggling with simple things. And that's, that's natural. That's natural for everyone. Because when you start as a junior web developer, you don't know nothing. I'm telling you, you don't know nothing. And you are getting paid. You are getting paid to learn at the job. So this is an actual, uh, actually a good opportunity for you to increase your skills. But now, let's go to the point where you say that you, you don't think you are learning enough, okay? And this is very important, guys. The, the hardest part for most of us, the hardest part is to get the foot on the door, to get the first job. This is the hardest part. Now, for example, now that you are in here, you got your first job, you are even working with WordPress sites. This is great. This is amazing, uh, Manny. I'm, I'm going to tell you, please don't quit your job unless they are going to fire you, which I hope they don't. Um, don't quit your job. Just hold on for a little bit more because now, now that you got this job, hold on for at least six months if you can. I know it's going to be hard in the beginning, it, it seems like you're just going to fail and maybe you don't like people, but I'm just going to give you all these advices. Hold on for a minimum of six months, okay? Um, and then I promise you, because you got this on your CV already, this experience, it's going to be so much easier for you to go after and find another job. So easy, because I'm telling you, web developers now are in such a huge demand I get offers, for example, me every day, even when I was starting out with one or two years of experience, I had a lot of offers and this is everywhere. So don't worry about this because if you just quit now and you are almost on your three months, uh, it will look a little bit bad on your CV. So try to stay a little bit longer, six months. And I promise you after, if you start looking for another job, you will get, you will get uh, something better for sure. Just it, and now the good thing as well is that you are in a job itself. So now you know things like uh, if you like to work on a big uh, team or on a small team, if you like to work with WordPress or not. Um, all of this is, is a good experience for you. Look, I was working in a company before that I was using C Sharp and uh, ASP.NET and I didn't enjoy it so much. So if I didn't enjoy it on my next jobs, I'm going to take it out. I don't want I don't want to work with the C Sharp and the ASP.NET because I just didn't enjoy it. So I prefer to work with PHP. I prefer to work with JavaScript, Node.js, any other things. So you see, now that you are in, on your first job, you can actually see if uh, what you like and what you don't like. So don't quit it. But now let's go to the part where you are telling me that uh, even your senior developers, your colleagues, uh, they are telling you that um, to, don't, to not ask any more questions, that um, they are too busy or something. And this could be, this could be because probably you are, you are really asking too many questions. And what I advise you guys, especially the ones that you are starting out, is whenever you get stuck on something, I tell you guys, don't run straight away, don't run straight away to, um, to your managers, to your colleagues for help. 
because most likely what happens is that uh, the answer is so easy that you are not giving yourself some time. So if you get stuck with a problem, first of all, have a, a piece of paper next to you all the time to take some notes and do this. If you get stuck, for example, in a, in a line of code, write down on a, on a list of paper, for example, what have you tried to fix the bug? Let's say that you try to do some kind of console.logs, let's say that you try to, to change some variables, whatever you try, list it, write it down on, on a piece of paper. Go to Google, try to search for these, for example, if you have a bug that is coming with an error on, um, on the console, in the browser, write down everything, try to look it on Google, try to look it on Stack Overflow and list all the steps that you took to, um, to solve this bug or to solve this problem. Now, you have in here a list of things that you tried already and imagine, I would say, give it two hours maximum for you to try, okay? Give it two hours maximum because this time, two hours, all right? It's going to give it like a, a lot of breathing room for your other colleagues to do whatever job that they are doing. And after two hours, if you still feel like you couldn't do it, you can't really do anything else, you are going to come up to your, to your colleagues, to your senior developers, to your manager and say, uh, look, uh, John, look, Tom, look, uh, Andy, whatever is the name. Uh, I couldn't figure out these, I've been trying and then this is where you're going to show them your, your list of things that you already tried. Uh, so because this is going to show them that you actually tried. Because there is a lot of people when they face a problem is like, okay, I can't do it, uh, I don't know, I'm stuck. But they don't try. If you don't try something, it's just going to mean, it's just going to show to them that you are lazy, that you are not even trying to solve a problem. And in the end of the day, the company, they are, they are paying you to solve problems. This is what we are all paid. We are paid to solve problems in a company. So this is really going to work for you. Let me know, please, if you try this and if this works for you or not, because this is the same everywhere. Okay. And uh, I think that's it. That's it for this video, guys. I also, if you guys watched until here, I want you to comment down below if you ever, if you ever have faced some problems like these. Um, what are your expectations in your first job? Do you think that you are going to build some, some amazing things? Do you think that you are going to get the first job like boring, as Manny is saying? Because I've, I've been in the same spot. I remember, maybe not my first job, or the first job I think was better, but my second job was horrible. My second job was, first of all, my first three months or something, it was just like updating some kind of HTML and CSS on landing pages. It was so boring, so boring. After that, that, I, that they saw that it was too easy for me, this, they started to put me on C Sharp and ASP.NET, which I never learned, I didn't know anything, and I started to struggle a lot. And I, I also didn't like the language, uh, to be honest. Uh, and I was using something similar to WordPress, but called Umbraco. So Umbraco is like a, a content managed system, like uh, WordPress, but WordPress runs on PHP and Umbraco runs on C Sharp ASP.NET. And there is not too many documentation online. There is not uh, as many resources as WordPress, for example. So I had to learn everything by myself and it was, it was a horrible experience. But I'm telling you that with this, I learned a lot as well. Uh, but I think that's it for this video, guys. This is just to show you really that uh, there are a lot of jobs out there that they are really, really boring and that you are not going to really learn a lot from it. And for you guys to really set your expectations to not be like too high. I'm telling you that 70, if not 80% of the companies out there, they will just like be building really boring stuff, really some simple stuff that you are not going to really learn a lot. But just get your first job, just get your foot on the door, because after you get this experience on your CV, it will be much easier for you to go and look for other company that will look much better and that will offer you some plans to learn more stuff and help you become a better developer as well. All right, guys, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, uh, if you have any questions like this, 
uh, just send me an email, uh, I'll be happy to make a video on it. Um, as well, if you want to comment anything about this, if you have any other experience like this yourself, or what kind of expectations do you have about your first job, let me know in the comments down below. And that's it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one.